Hello again and welcome to the show. As always, this is Cup of Joe Canada and I'm your host, Jason McNeil. Uh, first and foremost, I want to remind you to hit subscribe um, if you haven't already. And if you have already, thank you very much. Remember to follow us on Twitter and on Instagram at Cup of Joe Canada. Uh, today, I want to just jump right into it. I want to talk about a, a, an issue that's been brought up by Liberal MP, uh, sorry, Liberal MP Selena Cesar Chavez. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. I'm not positive. Anyway. The headline reads, Liberal MP Selena Cesar Chavez rocks dope braids to protest body shaming. Okay, um, I looked into this and I, I saw a clip of her when she was explaining the protest. And I'll be honest, I, I want to talk about this because I think this is where we're getting at an issue of systemic racism. And I'm not positive because I've never really looked at the world this way. But you guys let me know, is this systemic racism? And if you think it is, let's blow it up because... You know, these are the things we need to identify and tackle. So anyway, she came into the legislature. She's rocking braids, right, or wearing braids. Um, I personally, again, this is why I don't see it as an issue because I, I wouldn't have thought anything of it. I would just think there's a lady. She has her hair braided. It looks beautiful. That's great. But anyway, so she, you know, in her speech that she was giving was saying she was wearing the braids and would continue to wear the braids to protest body shaming of all types across the board from head to toe, specifically the, the shaming of black women's hair. Now, this is where it starts to get cloudy for me because I didn't, I didn't realize black women's hair was an issue. Now, I will say, I, I did write in my Colin Kaepernick piece on the site that uh, th there was an unusual reaction to the idea of Beyonce and her dancers having afros at the Super Bowl uh, performance. It was like, oh, look at the hair. It's militant. And I thought it was ridiculous. So now, you know, this is getting a little further down the rabbit hole. So anyway... In the speech, she referenced a, an incident in Massachusetts where there was two young black girls who were told they couldn't attend their, their prom because of their braided hair, their braid, uh, braided extensions. And so they were told they can't do that. And, and I do think that's, that it's terrible. Well, what is that? What do you mean? I, I, braid, it's how I do my hair. And you don't like it because why? Like there's something negative attached to this hairstyle of braids on black people? That seems kind of silly. Now... I am always a pragmatist, and I don't associate American culture with Canadian culture. I think that there's a difference. So I asked her, you know, has this occurred also in Canada? And she responded, sure enough, that it, that, that it has. Um, so I looked into it, and what I found was there was an incident in 2015. It was in Toronto, actually. And it was an incident where a girl, a young girl, grade 8, was pulled out of class by the vice principal and told that her hair was too poofy, that she, she needed to do something about it. Um, now... The problem, I think, with the story, and the reason why I think it went over a lot of people's heads, the, the vice principal that pulled the girl out was also black. So I fear that a lot of people immediately are like, well, this is not racism then, right? It's a black person telling a black person something, and you know that's none of our business. But I, I beg to differ. I think this is actually something that we should analyze further, right? Because what we have here is a case where something that is natural to a black woman is looked at as negative or sort of the antithesis of success, or as problematic, and if that's the case, that is a real problem. And, and I, I, I cannot imagine that in Canada we would want that to continue or allow that to continue. So I guess my question is, black women, and uh, black men too, but specifically black women, are you sort of raised and brought up to sort of feel ashamed of your hair or, or to feel like your hair is somehow negative? Because the truth is this, okay, when uh, someone like Lady Gaga sings Born This Way, Right, and it's all about well, I'm gay and I'm born this way. That everyone celebrates it's great. This is an instance where there is no debate, there is no you know like questionable science. Like the, you're born this way. This is your hair. Are we telling people that because of that it's unacceptable, or that they need to change it or fix it or look more like us? Again, I, I like I just I can't fathom that. It's not in my worldview. But is this the worldview that we're pushing in North America and in Canada specifically? So, what I wonder is. If the braids is no good because it looks gangster or ghetto or whatever, and the poofiness is no good because it looks too, you know, raw and ghetto, what are they supposed to do? Why go do it's my hair, right? So the answer is look more white. Or actually look more not black. Because Asian people, South Asian people, all have we all have straight hair. Right? The only people with this hair is black people. So if we're sending a message to black people that your hair is unacceptable or makes you, you know, not, uh, not applicable for success, or, or all of that needs to stop immediately, in my estimation. So Canada, I ask you, if you are a black woman, is this how people have made you feel? If you're not a black woman, is this 
how you look at it. Do you think people should feel that way? Do you think there's a problem with an afro or with braids? Again, it, the whole thing kind of shocks me because of how I grew up and I, like, I, I really didn't think this was an issue, but I'm hearing more and more that, yeah, maybe this is an issue. Maybe this is a case where we can specifically point out this is systemic racism. This is telling black people that naturally something about them is not good enough or not acceptable and that they should change it and make it look more, you know, white or non-black and then they'll be more accepted. Is that happening in Canada? I want to believe not, but you guys tell me. It's uh, www.cupofjoecanada.com. You can always get me on Twitter. It's at Cup of Joe Canada. Like I said, follow us on Instagram. Awesome pictures, <laughs> if I do say so myself. And yeah, just holler at us. Join the conversation. Let us know how you feel.